Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Let's Ride USA commentary episode. In the last video, we came to the track and it was actually closed, so we had to turn back around, go home, and ride our regular trails. But today, the track is open, so we are out here, going to spin some laps today, and uh, just kind of take you guys through the day. So we get onto the practice track, I wait back for Connor to see if he wants to go ahead of me. He's like, no, you can go, so I go ahead, I, uh, I take the lead. This jump I always roll over when you first get onto the track, this just because you don't have enough speed to hit it. So I'm kind of coming up to this first berm right here. This guy comes out of nowhere on the inside, clips the top of the berm, throws his bike down, I get stuck on his back fender, I just gun it over his bike, run over his back tire. And there's already a bunch of carnage going on in the first turn, and we just started the day. So that's how the first 30 seconds uh, of the track turned out. Uh, but right now, this is just the first lap, so I'm just kind of taking it easy. Uh, first lap, I always like to, you know, just kind of do a parade lap, uh, just in case they changed anything uh, on the track. Which uh, the track we go to, they actually do. Uh, uh, keep up with it pretty nicely so there's always new stuff when we go there and I always just think it's a good idea just to go slow warm up uh, first lap you never want to go full force on, on the first lap just because honestly it's unsafe not really sure like I said if they did change some stuff on the track um, and you know different lines that build up you always first lap just take it slow uh, get a feel for the track especially if this is your first time uh, on a motocross track uh, for me, this is kind of the second time that, or no, this is the third time that I've been at this track. So, I have a pretty good feel for it, so I'm going kind of a nice medium medium pace, probably giving it about, uh, you know, 50%. And talking about some new things that they added to this track, uh, right up here, it's actually on the next turn. Coming around this turn right here. And I start slowing down because uh, this double I usually just roll over. But I'm like, wait, it's not a double anymore. It's a tabletop. That's awesome. That looks like a lot of fun. So next lap, I come up to the tabletop, hit the throttle wide open, and just send it over. And it was an awesome jump. It had an awesome takeoff, awesome landing. But the next jump is not as good. It is a little double. Uh, that I just kind of rolled over but I began getting a little bit frustrated I have been coming here this was actually my third time at this track uh, actually only second time with the 250 first time was with the 230 go check out that video but every single time I just would hit that double like I know that I can clear this I've cleared these tabletops that I'm clearing in this video they are way bigger than that little double right there. I just have got to get over the fear of the double. So I jumped that tabletop. I'm coming up to this this double. I rolled over it every single time, but I'm like, no, this time I am hitting it. I am clearing this double. I come up, take a look at it. I'm going for it. I'm giving it all the gas that it has, going as fast as I can, hit it, and I case it. I case it big. Look at this completely off not even a little bit close not even like i was so far off look look at this picture i am on the opposite side of the landing i do not understand actually i know exactly what happened i got psyched out and i thought i was going a lot faster than i was when i was coming up to that jump i thought i was going a lot faster uh, i think it was just more of the uh, adrenaline going through me uh, I'm gonna hit this double and I'm scared that if I case this double and I wasn't fully committed and I was going half-hearted and you can't go half-hearted into a jump like that uh, as you can see it didn't work out it hurt a lot when I case that double uh, after that I was like I am done I you know I bottomed out the suspension real bad I was hurting real bad so I found the nearest exit, got off the track, it was a safe thing to do. But just a lesson for you guys, if you're hitting a jump for the first time, 
a new jump that you've never hit before, you've got to be fully committed. If you're not committed, it's not going to work out. And that's what I learned from this experience. Uh, I get off my bike once I get to camp and I pretty much just lay down. So while I'm using this time to uh, recover from casing that double, please be sure to use this time to go hit that subscribe button and subscribe to our channel because there will be a lot more videos from this day after uh, a little bit of resting. I got back out on the track and put down some awesome laps. So those videos will definitely be up soon as well as a bunch of other videos we got going on. So as always, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.